All right, folks, let's talk about Japan. Now, Japan is an amazing country. It has sushi, samurai, and toilets that can probably solve calculus problems. But there are some things in Japan that just make you go, huh? For instance, mandatory obesity testing for employees. Yes, in Japan, companies are required to measure their employees' waistlines. Imagine showing up to work, ready to tackle that big project, and your boss is like, hold up, Jenkins, before you hit those spreadsheets, let's measure that gut. And if you don't meet the standard, the companies have to pay substantial fines. It's like getting a performance review for your belly. I'm sorry, Bob, your productivity is through the roof, but those love handles, not so much. But hey, it's all in the name of health. They're trying to curb obesity and improve public health. Still, I can't help but laugh at the thought of a CEO being hauled into a meeting because he enjoyed a few too many sushi rolls. Sorry, Mr. Tanaka, we've got to let you go. It's not you, it's your waistline. Speaking of food, vending machines. In Japan, you can get anything from a vending machine. Drinks, snacks, hot meals, umbrellas, you name it. They even have vending machines that sell used underwear. Used. Underwear. I mean, who's the target market for that? Hey honey, I forgot to pack for the trip. No worries, I'll just hit up the vending machine. Japan is the land of culinary adventures, but some of their ice cream flavors make you go, huh? Case in point, octopus flavored ice cream. Yeah, you heard me right. Because when I think of dessert, I definitely want something that tastes like calamari. Hey, do you have any vanilla? Nope, but we've got octopus, squid ink, and soy sauce. Enjoy. And then there are the capsule hotels. Now, I get it, space is limited, but these are like sleeping in a futuristic morgue drawer. It's like Japan saw a coffin and thought, what if this, but a hotel? Don't get me wrong. They're efficient and clean, but if I wanted to sleep in a tube, I'd join NASA. Let's talk about the toilets. Oh, the toilets. These things have more buttons than an airplane cockpit. Heated seats, bidet functions, music to mask your business. There's even one that analyzes your health. That's right, folks. It's like having a WebMD in your bathroom. Congratulations, you're hydrated. Also, you might have an iron deficiency. Have a nice day. And then there are the maid cafes. You walk in, and you're served by girls dressed as French maids who call you master and draw cute faces on your food with ketchup. It's like stepping into a live action anime. I went to one, and let me tell you, nothing says relaxing meal like being scolded for not finishing your rice by someone who looks like they escaped from a cosplay convention. Japan takes Kit Kats to a whole new level. They've got flavors like green tea, sweet potato, and even wasabi. Yes, wasabi Kit Kats. Nothing says sweet treat like a candy that fights back. You think you're getting chocolate, but then bam, spicy horseradish punch. Break me off a piece of that, wait, why is my mouth on fire? Let's not forget the mascots. Japan loves mascots for everything. They have mascots for cities, companies, even prisons. Imagine getting locked up and the warden is a giant fluffy character named Inmate-san. Sorry you're here, but at least you get a photo op. And what about these napping cafes? Yes, Japan has cafes where you can pay to take a nap. You walk in, grab a comfy spot, and snooze away. Imagine walking into a cafe, ordering a pillow instead of a latte, and dozing off in a cozy corner. It's like a Starbucks for the sleep deprived. They even have staff to wake you up gently. That's right, someone's job is to be a professional alarm clock. Good morning, sir. Your latte and wake up call are ready. Now, let's talk about love hotels. These are pay-by-the-hour hotels designed for some alone time with your significant other. Or, you know, 
someone else's significant other. Each room has a different theme, from jungle adventures to spaceships. So you can literally make love in a spaceship. Houston, we have a problem. No, wait, it's just the vibrating bed. Ever heard of train pushers? These are people hired to cram commuters into trains during rush hour. Their job is to literally push you into the train like you're stuffing a suitcase. It's like human Tetris. Imagine their job description. Wanted strong individual who enjoys close encounters and has no concept of personal space. Let's cuddle up to the idea of cuddle cafes. You pay to cuddle with a stranger. No funny business, just good old fashioned cuddling. Imagine explaining that to your friends. Hey, what did you do last night? Oh, nothing much. Just paid a stranger to spoon me while I told them about my day. Best $50 I ever spent. Japan loves its themed cafes. They've got cat cafes, owl cafes, even goat cafes. Yes, you can sip your latte while petting a goat. Just don't ask for goat milk, it gets awkward. And the cats? They just sit there judging you. Oh, you're drinking a non-fat latte? Pathetic. Did you know Japan has entire islands overrun by cats? These cat islands have more feline residents than human ones. It's like The Walking Dead, but with cats. You step off the boat, and you're swarmed by furry overlords demanding treats and belly rubs. I'd visit just to see the island council meetings. All in favor of more naps and fish? Meow. And then there are ear cleaning parlors. Yes, you heard me right. You go in, lie down, and someone gently cleans your ears with a little scoop. It's like a spa day for your ear canals. How was your weekend? Oh, just got my ears cleaned. It was irresistible. Honestly, if someone told me they're professionally licensed in ear cleaning, I'd have to say, huh? But you know what? That's what makes Japan amazing. It's quirky, it's unique, and it's a place where you can truly expect the unexpected. So next time you find yourself in Japan and something makes you go, huh? Just remember, it's all part of the adventure. Stay weird, stay wonderful, and I'll see you next time.